Hey folks, uh, I'm hearing a lot of anxiety about coding interviews, um, which, you know, somewhat justified because you, you, you would be coding live in front of somebody else and um, there would be a sh short time and whatnot. So yeah, it, it is, it is uh, it, 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 this is a legit um, thing to uh, worry about. But um, as with any anxiety, with, we, we try to fight it with knowledge. The more you know, I mean, you, you get fearful of things that you don't know about, right? So the so more you know, uh, chances are your fear um, of the unknown goes down and your anxiety level goes down. So let's talk about what's in a coding interview. What do they ask, right? So let's talk about that. So first of all, um, you are a lot less likely to get a, a Terraform type um, um, type coding interview question. Why? Because that would require that requires the the interviewing party to set up some kind of access key or something, a JSON file, so you can actually run your code live, right, to test. Um, so that's why no, no, normally they don't do that. So the easy solution from the interviewer side is to just give you an algorithm problem because there's tons of platform where they can just choose one and boom, you off you go, right? There's no effort needed from, from the interviewer side. So because of that, even for DevOps and SRE roles, what I see is um, people are given algorithm questions. Now, they're not like lead code type, oh my God, you know, you know binary trees and, and not those, right? Uh, generally what I see is first of all, you get to pick your own language. So make sure that you pick a language. I, again, I recommend Golang, but you pick your own that you are good at. You are able to write code without too much friction, right? So you're not slowing down a whole lot, right? So you have to practice that. Now, um, generally speaking, you get uh, a, a string-based algorithm. That's very common. I, and I, I've seen that even for a, a developer roles, right? So you, you you get something like oh I don't know you're given uh, you know twenty strings and um, you have to figure out um, how many of them are repeats and you know some kind of problem that requires you to think about the algorithm first before you sit down and write the code right I have seen some math ba based um, questions like oh you know you have a two two dimensional array of numbers and you do X Y Z but that's less common than string-based question. So that's what you get. So how do you get ready? You, you get ready by practicing, just practice, because the more you practice, more you're not gonna have any friction. You can just write code. Now, one of the other question people ask me is, can you Google during your um, coding questions? Normally, yes, but really you don't, you don't want to do it even for your own sake, because one, it's, it, will slow you, it will slow you down. And if you're looking up something super simple, then that makes you look bad, right? The help that you get from VS Code Live, that's legit, that's okay, that's totally, totally allowed. And that's what you should rely on. So what you should do is you should get, you know, pick a platform, I don't care, you know, Lead Code, um, Hacker Rank, you know, Chat GPT, whatever. Um, pick, pick, pick some simple uh, string-based algorithm questions and then do them, do them, without first do them with help, then do the same problem without help, like make it live for yourself. You do it without looking up anything, no Google, no nothing, right? Once you get to that level for that particular level, particular problem, then you know you got it, right? What that also does is that it makes sure that your speed of coding, right? When, you, when you're when you not slowing down a whole lot, you, you know, you're just like, blah, 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 var equals this, this, this. Okay, now I'm gonna write a, write a for loop and I'm gonna do an if, then else, blah, blah, blah. So as, as long as your thinking is clear, you're not slowed down, you're not blocked by the coding expertise, the coding speed of yourself, right? I promise you, if you practice, uh, the, 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 the type of questions that you get in a coding interview for DevOps, they're not as hard as um, the ones that you get for a software engineer level level questions. Those are more more towards algorithm, more like lead code, but these are not that hard as long as you practice ahead of time. Hope this was useful. If it was, please subscribe. That helps my channel and I will see you next time.